Yet another APC has rolled into the collection, ladies and gentlemen. As if two weren't enough. I remember when I was unboxing the Burning APC, uh, like two or three months ago, I told everybody and I told myself, well, you can take the flames off and you can have the plain green one. There's just a little bit of burning residue left over, but you can't even tell. I don't need the regular green version. I'm content with this one and I'm content with the Colonial Marines one. Boy, oh boy, did I lie to myself and more importantly to everybody else who watched that video because what's the first thing I did when I edited that and posted it? I went searching online for this guy and I waited too long to want this because I think I paid 100 something for the Colonial Marines one. I paid 100 something for the burning version, maybe a little bit more, but I paid a whopping 300 bucks for this guy because none of my retailers that I typically buy from had him anymore. So I went to Hyatt Toys itself and luckily they still had it. The shipping wasn't catastrophic. I think it was 40 bucks. I pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger because I knew that if I didn't do it now, they're going to sell out and then I'm stuck with no AP, no green APC. So here we are. Uh, wallet is 300 bucks lighter, but we have completed the APC line. As if that's the most important thing to do in life. Uh, all right, let's start from the bottom here, actually. I'm gonna take my trusty letter opener, and we're gonna get to work, because the last unboxing was very long. The burning version, that was a long unboxing. I don't want this one to be the same, but Oh well, yeah. Let's uh, let's get into this. let's get into this. Uh, let me remove these corners here, and just so everybody is clear on this, I got this overseas. Hyatt Toys is based overseas, so this did take a little bit uh, to get here. But uh, again, no other place had it. So that is what we had to deal with and I've had this in my possession for a while now again I was saving a lot of this for my for a little birthday thing but uh, now that that's done and over with I can actually unbox the thing and make videos so and I brought the lazy Susan out so this is a hundred times easier because last time I was out of breath I don't exercise anymore that's that's not a thing I do there's gonna be a box inside a box, that's for sure. I hope this is not broken. That would really suck for me. And I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing it's the same box as last time, just the black, so give me a minute here. Here we go. Armored personnel carrier, a green version, a very classy, Classy box, very plain. No pictures, nothing like that. Straight to the point. You know how high it does it. All right, where am I gonna put this, you ask? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think it'll go, I made a whole table area for the Prime One stuff. I already added the, the burning APC there and that barely fits or it's gonna barely fit. All right, so it looks like we get Another Marine, yet another one. This is probably, is his name Cruz? I think his name is, yeah, this one's Cruz. And this is probably the third or fourth Cruz I own in the collection. There's not a lot to show off. I've shown him off a million times. There he is. There's Cruz with the uh, prosthetic leg and he also comes with the M41 rifle. I think he also comes with a pistol as well. I'm not seeing that in in here though. Yeah, I'm not seeing that in here. I thought these usually come with a pistol. Hmm. Well, regardless, there's Cruz. All right, place him aside. Uh, how do I wanna do this? Let's do it from this side. Yesterday, I just got done filming a Godzilla haul 
and uh, that'll be uploading right after this video so I hope everybody enjoys that something a little different uh, the predator stuff isn't going or the alien predator stuff isn't going anywhere but I thought it'd be nice to do something a little bit different every once in a while I opened it upside down again really I always I did that last time now I feel stupid again I mean I'm always stupid but oh well all right <laughs> there we go I finally have the clean one <laughs> finally instructions not gonna need those there he is finally I got myself the green APC the base version of the APC let's move this isn't she gorgeous so that's three out of three APCs done See if I can open the door. Here we go. Sweet. The burning one is great. But you gotta have the original. You gotta have first appearance APC. There's the bottom. I gotta remove this thing for the light up. And then obviously the top removes. So we'll get to that in a second. But actually, let me open the uh, the door here. Cool. That's nice looking. I love the front too. Again, the benefits of 1 18th scale, ladies and gentlemen, you get to get stuff like this. Gosh, imagine if they have the, uh, the license to do everybody from the 86 movie. Man, you can have Drake at the door getting splashed with the, uh, with the acid, that would be so cool. Have Vasquez trying to save him. That'd be super, super cool. But all right, I'm gonna clear some of this out so we can uh, get a better look at this guy. And I also wanna check out the light up features. Okay, here we are, APC. Let me uh, put away this before I damage it. And let's go ahead and take the top off here. Put the gun back. Ooh, this one's tight. Hold on. Okay. That was really in there. I won't, uh, I won't lie. This should have a light up, right? So, let's test that out. There you go. Light up works. Awesome. Interior looks really, really great. Should be pretty much almost exactly the same as, uh, of course, the burning APC, because... I mean, why would the interior need to look any different, right? Should be some rubber bands here to remove. But yeah, everything looks really, really good in here. Check it out. You got your swivel chair with all the computers and everything, which should be lighting up. You have the pilot area with the uh, movable acceleration lever. And then I don't, yeah, the seat doesn't move. Uh, there's a rack over here as well for all your weapons. Let's see if I can get a better look at that. Right there. So I have a ton that I can put there. And again, all of the... Uh, these always pop out. That's so annoying. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, looks good. Looks really, really good. And then obviously this should pop off as well. This here. And yep. You have a whole bunch of extra seats back there, all with those little uh, protective barrier things that move up and down. Again, with these, got to be careful with them because they will snap off. So that looks good. Let's put you back. Yeah, everything looks pretty good in here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Haha, <laughs> there you go. Bumper. Whoops, a daisy. This is really loose. All the computers, or the monitors, keyboard, lights up, everything. And then up front, it also lights up there. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll turn off the lights in a minute here. 
I need some more Marines because the door can open here. You can have them walking in. So I really need more Marines. Is that all the light up? Nothing at the back? Nope. I like the ladder here, though. It's nice. Wheels are great. I love all the dirt on them, too. Really nicely painted. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Let's put the top back on. We're going to turn its light on. Again, this one was really in here, which I mean, I'm happy about. It's better than it being too loose, I guess. Don't be afraid of those snapping sounds. It's just the way it is. But let me uh, let me actually go ahead and, and turn off the lights here so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm trying not to block the light here, uh, but there he is. I need at least something on in the room so you can... It's pretty bright. It's definitely pretty bright. The uh, sides light up here too on either side. Obviously the top and the bumper lights as well. Uh, nothing else lights up on the exterior, but if we go ahead and remove this top plating here, and again, be very, very careful taking it off because it just really doesn't want to come off. We can go ahead and take a look isn't that awesome? Come on now. Look at that. That's sweet. That's really nice. And then obviously the pilot's area as well. There it is. You know what I want to try and do? I want to go ahead and actually put him in the review area. Let's take a look how he looks in there. Okay, welcome to the new review area. So I'm hoping the black background lets this guy's colors pop a little bit more, especially all of those different scuffs and scrapes throughout the vehicle that look really, really nice. And I haven't done a direct comparison between this and the burning APC. Uh, obviously, a lot of the color is going to be slightly different, but I don't know about all those scuffs and scrapes if it's just, you know, painted the exact same way. Uh, I'll do a review comparison another time, but it looks really, really nice. What I appreciate is that this isn't fully clean, right? It doesn't look fresh off the line. Like in the movie, it looks worn, it looks used, it's dirty, and it's obviously aged. And the figure looks like that. The tires are all worn and they're dirty. They, it has silver and uh, darker scrapes all throughout the vehicle, especially on this side, though, where the door is. And... It, it looks really, really great, and this is not fully straight. There we go. I placed the cannon this way, just like it was in the movie. Obviously, you can articulate it the way you want. And Cruz is here. And yes, Cruz does have his pistol. It is right there. And it's obviously removable. So, I don't know how I missed that when I was unboxing this guy, but there you go. Keep in mind with Cruz, the prosthetic leg it's not the best quality uh, it will warp over the time if you put a lot of weight on it so when you're putting him on the stand make sure that this leg the good one is doing most of the work otherwise again it'll warp I, I have three of him at least and I think two of those had warped legs it's kind of unfortunate it's just the plastic they used. It, it sucks. But give me a sec. I'm going to cut. I want to angle the camera a little bit differently so you can see all the different details. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this guy. Look at all those scrapes. Don't those look just really, really nice? All the dust and dirt all over the wheels and everything. It's just so well done. Look at that. Man. That's really awesome looking. Obviously the door is pretty, it's kind of tight, so be careful. Only opens this much, place this guy next to it. And you know, you, you can't put him in there, so it's not exactly a tight fit for 1 18th uh, human figures, so do keep that in mind. And obviously it's just a nice scale overall. Uh, the vehicle is just gigantic next to these guys. Uh, I have my Colonial Marines displayed and it looks like they're all entering the vehicle. Uh, I might show that off in another, via in another video, but I, I do like that. 
So here's the other side. Look at all that detail. I love those patches too. Those look nice. Listen, you 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 definitely get your money's worth with this. And 118th vehicles at this quality are gonna run you, you know, a couple hundred dollars. It's listen, it's been like that for a while, and uh, to get something that's this uncommon, you know, I was I was willing to pay the uh, the 300 bucks. So. And I, I definitely don't regret my decision. Definitely don't. Because this looks really, really, really nice. Also, let me know what you think of the background. Uh, I just put, uh, you know, this velvet style background, I thought, just to make it as plain as possible so that any figure or collectible I have here will pop. But let's, let me actually... Uh, do you think I can do this on camera? Let's see if I can do this on camera. Let me go ahead. See, it's this side. It's this side that I'm always so worried about. There we go. So, removed it. There's the top and the button. There's the interior. And it is so, it is really, really nice. I love the swivel chair. Again, be careful of these bars, these roller coaster style bars. They will pop off, they will break. Thankfully, I haven't broken any of mine. And a lot of ports for weapons, especially in the back, but if I turn it around, you will notice, again, look how many are back here. So, and I have a lot of 118th scale alien weapons, or uh, colonial marine weapons that, uh, that I'll put there. I think it's nice looking. This is that a happy face? Hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That looks like a happy face. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, there is the pilot area. That's nice looking. The chair doesn't move. In case you're wondering, the chair does not move. Uh, I'm just giving an overview. This is not a proper review. Uh, I don't know if I will be doing a proper review, but. Let's open the back. So just a ton of more seats for all your Colonial Marines. I wish they would do a pack of just generic Colonial Marines. It doesn't have to be Drake. It doesn't have to be Frost or Apone or anybody. It just has to be, you know, generic faces, generic bodies. Just do male and female packs. That, that would, man, that would look really, really nice. Just fill out all of these APCs. Let's put this back. There you go, sits nicely, and we'll put the top back. And again, it's very tight on this side, but I got it in. And there you go, there is the APC. So if you're on the fence about this guy, uh, get him while he's still available, because Haya still has him. He is still available on Haya, I think. I haven't checked since I bought him, but I'm assuming he is. And, uh, you know, grab him while he's available because um, nobody else has him for an affordable price. Th uh, granted, 300 bucks is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, it, it's a ton of money. Plus, you're paying quite a bit for shipping. Granted, it is uh, a pretty heavy package. And it was packaged, well, but... Uh, if you're a fan, you're a fan, and if you're a fan, you, you're probably going to want this. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't collect 118th. I, I know a lot of collectors who are really strict about their scale. I'm not too much of a scale snob in that I'm willing to collect multiple scales of the same lines of the same figures. Uh, so I, I didn't mind going in on this. And To tell you the truth, uh, collecting 118th scale stuff is a hell of a lot easier than collecting you know, seven inch scale NECA stuff because it's good on real estate, it's cheaper, and you get vehicles with NECA seven inch scale stuff. You don't get stuff like that. I mean, we got the Blade Fighter, but that was it. I don't recall having any other vehicles uh, that NECA ever did because it's it would be too massive. Can you imagine an APC uh, made for your, you know, your NECA Colonial Marines, it'd be gigantic. It'd be three times the size of this and obviously three times the cost. You'd probably have to crowdfund that thing. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And I, I hope Haya Toys continues to make more stuff 
from these franchises. You know, there's a lot of other vehicles you can make. There's a lot of other characters you can make. I don't know if they're allowed to go that far. I don't know if they're allowed to enter the comic book realm, but there's a lot of potential. So I'm hoping for the best. We shall see. Uh, they're very fixated right now on Godzilla, you know, classic Godzilla and uh, Judge Dredd, especially Judge Dredd, which I'm happy about. I, I love both those things. So, and I'm going to be 100%ing their classic Godzilla line without a doubt. I haven't gone in on any of the MonsterVerse stuff, but I'm, I'm going to go in on the classic stuff. But regardless, let's head back to the toy table. All right, everybody. I think that's I think that's pretty much it. I've showed you all what I wanted to show off. Really happy that it's in the collection now. Don't need any more APCs. I'm good. Uh, a little bit too much money has been spent, I think. Uh, far too much money. And I don't need to spend any more because I already spent too much on a Hyatt Toys haul that you're going to see in the next couple of days and this site really doesn't want to come out and I spent too much on this and I spent too much on Godzilla's so which you should also be seeing soon so that's it for me thank you for watching go check out Trophy Room on Facebook a Facebook group created by yours truly made for alien predator collectors like yourselves and like myself Feel free to post about the movies, the comics, the shows, the collect your collections, anything and everything Alien Predator, with only one rule, don't be a dick. I also have a Discord server, same name, Trophy Room, same rules, so feel free to go, uh, go ahead and join. The link to the Discord server likes to uh, expire after a while, if that's the case, just message me privately and I'll, uh, I'll give you one. I'm live every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Sanctuary YouTube channel doing the Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show live every Friday. So if you want to hear me say expletives, <laughs> go there. But no, we, we talk about figures and toys and pop culture. It's, it's a lot of fun. Go check us out. And as always, people, have a good morning, evening, midday, whatever. And take care. Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus 10 minutes. The option to override automatic detonation expires.